Next, you have to define a profile operation to perform finishing of the outside contour. In the Solid Cam Manager, right-click the Operations header and choose Profile from the Add Milling Operations submenu. The Profile Operation dialog box is displayed. On the Geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the outside contour. In the SolidWorks Graphics area, pick on the bottom edge of the target model as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool number 2, the 6.25mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SolidWorks Graphics area, pick on the top face of the stock model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Profile Depth button and pick on the bottom edge of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Switch to the Technology page to define the technological parameters of the profile machining. For this operation, the default settings are used. The tool will cut on the left side of the profile geometry at a constant depth. The Finish checkbox is enabled and the number of passes is set at 1. Switch to the Link page to define the parameters of the tool approach and retreat relative to the machined profile. Under the Lead In area, select Arc from the drop-down menu. This option enables the tool to approach the profile and retreat away with a tangential arc. Enter a radius value of 3 mm and leave the remaining default arc parameters. For Lead Out, enable the Same As Lead In checkbox. This option will set the Lead Out parameters equal to the specified Lead In parameters. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the toolpath can be viewed on the model. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the profile operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. Then, click the Simulate button. After the updated stock calculation is completed for the operation, click the Play button. The tool approaches, performs the 3mm arc lead-in, followed by a finishing pass around the outside contour to remove the 0.24mm allowance left over from the iMachining 3D operations. The tool then performs the 3mm arc lead out, and the Solid Verify simulation comes to an end. Now that the cam part has been fully programmed using iMachining 3D, as well as some other 3D and 2.5D strategies for finishing, simulate the toolpath for the entire cam project using the HostCAD mode. First, switch to the HostCAD tab. Then, Click the Operations header in the Solid Cam Manager to run the simulation in its entirety. Click the Play button. The simulation runs from beginning to end and displays the toolpath as a wireframe. iMachining 3D, HSM, and 2.5D strategies are used to perform the machining of the mold core. Using the exit button, close the simulation control panel. For more information regarding this operation type, refer to the SolidCam milling help. Close the profile operation dialog box with the exit button. At this stage, step 6 is complete and the exercise has come to an end. To close the cam part, right click the cam part header in the SolidCam manager and choose Close from the menu. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedures shown in these videos to define the second part of finishing the mold core with the 2.5D milling module.